hello everyone welcome to boxing blogs and guys and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button and of course go to the notification bell icon click it and so let us enter the opinion banger and you guys really different video to fire so andrews jr okay andrews jr has uh has of course officially announced uh, his partnership with eddie reynoso uh the trainer of Canelo, you know, uh, let's take a look at this video right here before we proceed. <laughs> and he went right to Andy Ruiz. Ruiz embracing his Mexican heritage. And Canelo, a Mexican superstar, came right in to pay his respects. Look how relaxed Ruiz is. <laughs> Just be, hey, who's in the fight tonight? You know, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, he looks, he looks really good physically for him. Weighing 50 pounds heavier, yeah. he's looking like a New York bouncer up there. Right <laughs> I mean, he looks great. <laughs> Well, Andrews Jr. is officially with Eddie Reynoso, um, trainer of Canelo. I mean, what's your reaction to that, bro? Uh, I like it. Uh, hello. Well, what can I say? Um, you know, uh, the only thing I can say is good luck to him. I mean, let's see what comes out of this again. You get what I'm saying? Because is um, Andrews has proven himself not to be worthy of being even afraid at all with the way he's kind of like done things of recent. But hopefully, let's see what comes out of him with this is done again now. I mean, can I say, what should I say is a great move? I don't know yet. Let's see what he does in the next few fights then. Yeah, then I can actually applaud like a yeah, well you know, from switching, you know, trainers or wherever, wherever it is. But for now, let's just see what it brings in. For me, Andrew is someone, obviously, Andrew is someone I would have been like, yeah, this and that, but with the few things he's been doing lately and the way he was with his previous, you know, trainer and stuff like that, I don't think you can rate him yet. But with this one, let's see the way it does. If he still continue with the same kind of foolish act, then there was no point in the first place kicking out your first trainers again, this one and that. So don't let me lie to you, it's not something I'm going to say too much about. Because Andrews has been, you know, has been more, more like a dumbass. So far, so good, to be honest. I'll just leave it there. Yeah, uh, but stylistically, you think it's a good match though, but if you look at it, uh, I think uh, Eddie Reynoso is a very dedicated, uh, you know, trainer. And, mm -hmm. but, and the reason has seen money. The guy has seen money, he's experienced all this fame and all that. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I personally think him leaving, you know, uh, Manny Robles is still, <laughs> for me, is a yeah. chalk. And Manny Robles, like, I mean, he got you to the point where you are, you know, without giving up on you. But him linking up with Eddie Reynoso, He's probably the the best replacement for Manny Robles, but and the Ruiz Junior might always be under Ruiz Junior. You know, he doesn't really take things that serious. You know, because he prefer uh, money than anything else. Like crazy. The the thing that says that is Manny Robles was someone that on a neutral ground you shouldn't just you know kick him out just like that, right? Now you've gone to, you know, Eddie Renoso and that now, yeah? The truth is, number one thing is, even his previous trainer, oh, what's this man's name again? Is it Atlas or so? Complain about the same thing of Andrew is being lazy. They have to do this and that and that and that. But Manny Robles was someone that covered you up until you decide to slick yourself up, right? So at the end of the day, if that's who Andrew Ruiz has always been, because all his trainers have always said he's just a lazy type and that and that and that and that. Because I believe one thing, he just believes, he so much believes in his first plan, so he expects you to just come to him. He believes so much in his first plan. That's it. Right? But, but 
at the end of the day, that's why I said one thing, like, let's see the outcome of this now. But if you still remain the same and the reason, and the reason that, then there was no point. You should have just stick to your, you know, previous one, money, robless and that, rather than going for this one and you end up doing the same thing. Because I would have said, you know, Eddie Finn is a, is a great manager and that, but obviously, if I will call him that way and that, but let's see, because at the end of the day, if we look at where Andrew is, end up doing same money, Robles. I mean, Andrew is end up kind of like, even for rep reputation, you know, Robles has got Andrew is almost painted in black. Yeah, man. Crazy. Ty Jagwe. Yeah. Yeah, take on this. Uh, I believe Andrew Ruiz has the used up whatever luck or whatever gift that God has given him. You know, you had an opportunity and you used it. I've heard from uh, trainers that I've heard from your past trainers that you're lazy. You know, um, they have to force you to come to the gym. You got to ask, um, what, wh why have you switched trainers again? Why is the question. What is he trying to do? You know, and basically, there's something that means there's something wrong with Andrew Ruiz, other than the trainer. So you're telling me you found something anyway, uh, Reynoso, that you won't that that you didn't like in the other trainers. Maybe they pushed you a little too hard. You're saying Reynoso won't be doing a lot of those uh, things that the other trainers are doing. Andrew Ruiz, he the guy's lazy. You know, he wants somebody to basically you know get, motivate him. For him to train, he hasn't done anything for the heavyweight boxing, and he doesn't. Des I don't care what nobody says. He doesn't deserve a sec, a third, uh, a set, a third fight with AJ. He needs to prove himself. He needs to fight Miller. He needs to fight Brazil. He needs to fight Ortiz, Kalnacki, uh White, Wilder. You know, Dubois, Efe, all those guys. I need to see him fight. Then we can talk about. Then we can talk about him fighting AJ. If he doesn't fight any of those guys. I don't want to see him fight AJ. He thinks he automatically deserves a second chance just because, you know, you got in the ring with um unprepared and wouldn't a, uh, w uh, uh, hurt AJ, you know, which clearly outclassed you and outboxed you in the second fight. So, you know, with Andrew Ruiz, all, 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 all these guys, just because he had this little stunt with AJ, they think he's automatically the king of the heavyweight division. I don't buy that. Andrew Ruiz hasn't done anything, and I'm still waiting on that. Anyway, also uh, camp. Uh, I'm 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 still a little skeptical. You know, hopefully, you know, when going forward, they test Andrew Ruiz for every drug possible. But let's be honest, Canelo Canelo cheats. You know, and they, they, they and those they, this is not the first time they've. Uh, uh, these Mexican fighters are known to be cheaters. They they take PEDs. I'm gonna be the first person to say it. they take PEDs. What about that girl with uh with um with with uh Fra Fra Franchon Cruz, you know that 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 Mexican fighter. She ended up taking drugs. I don't trust these fighters, man. They, and going into uh, going going in with the Canelo. Let's be honest. Canelo Canelo has Canelo was uh, caught taking PEDs, but like I said, it was tainted meat, you know. So Take it, take take it for what it is. I'm not gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy that crap. And going forward, I hope whoever fights Andrew Ruiz, they test him for everything possible, because it's pure bullshit. And Andrew Ruiz, his time and time has gone. He's used up his luck. God gave him a, a gift on a silver platter, and then he used it up. And that's that's just who he is. Andrew is a lazy guy. He wants. He needs some. So he needs somebody to motivate him. He wants quick bucks, and that's the kind of guy he is, man. I, I have nothing more to say about it. Thanks, brother. We'll see what Andrews Jr. is made of. Um, yeah, but as usual, we give you guys nothing but bangers. Make sure you like the video, share, subscribe. Just guys.